What's up, guys? It's Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery and author of Diamonds in the Sky. And uh, I got a question today from one of my clients, actually. And can we just, I don't, ugh. my hair, I just got done working out, okay? So just leave me be. But I did get a question from one of my customers, actually, who is in Illinois. And he said something along the lines of, what do you recommend that we do? We just had a storm. Shit got real crazy. There's a ton of competition right now. And we're up there on the roof doing the inspection. Meanwhile, another company swooping in behind us and like knocking on the door, selling the customer while we're on the roof. It's super competitive. It's a shark tank down here. What do we do? And so the first thing that, um, there's a couple different points that I want to make about this, this fear, like this concern. First of all, one tip that I have is you can say to your customer, hey, Mrs. Jones, by the way, I know there's like a million roofers out here. I'm going to hop up here. Would you like me to do something to prevent you from getting a knock every 15 seconds on your door from like every Tom, Dick, and Harry roofer that's out here? She's going to say, yeah, sure. And then you just say, cool, let me just, I'll stick a sign at the end of your driveway. That'll deter like most of the salesmen that are running around here. And then just stick a sign in. Are people still going to knock when you have a sign? Sure, sometimes, but that's going to deter a lot of people. Um, and then the second thing is, uh, then I had a follow-up question, which was, well, what do we do about people who come and knock the signs after we've already signed the customer and try to steal your, steal our customers? Well, the thing is, there's going to be contractors that are going to come and knock your signs. They're going to come and try to, to get your deals. It's up to you to have such a bulletproof presentation with the customer and have built so much rapport that they don't take any other opportunities to sit down with another contractor. Your sales presentation has been like, oh, that's a no brainer. I'm just going to go with this guy. And then anybody that comes and knocks on the door, they're just like, thanks, but I already have somebody. Okay. Cause guess what? The same people are coming to me and saying, what do I say when customers say they already have a roofer? <laughs> Be the other guy. Okay. Be the other roofer. So um, that's some of the stuff there. But the other part is just guys, there is no magic bullet to preventing competition. Like you're gonna have competition. Um, there's gonna be other guys out there gunning for your jobs because they're hungry too. But at the end of the day, just remember like there's enough roofs out there for everyone. You're gonna get your piece of the pie. Play it cool, be nice to each other. You're all just trying to make a living out here, okay? Um, but you can't prevent, you, there's no pesticide to go and spray to keep the other roofers away, okay? You can't even eat an apple a day and keep the roofers away. I don't know, I felt like I had to make that joke because it rhymed. But it's part of the game, okay? Just know that you're gonna get enough roofs and it's up to you to be the most, like the most badass salesperson that you can be to where your customers would turn down anybody else that showed up in their, their yard. So that's my tip for today uh, on dealing with competition, stuff like that. Again, don't treat each other like the enemy. You don't, and don't be a dick. Like you don't need to go and steal other people's jobs, all right? There's enough jobs out there for everybody. Be cool. Remember that we're all just human beings here that are trying to make a living and have a good life and treat each other with respect out there. Be cool and um, keep it classy. So this has been another presentation brought to you by Becca Switzer. Uh, and it, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And you can go to my website, www.roofsalesmastery.com and check out uh, more material, sales training, stuff like that. If people are stealing your jobs, by the way, your sales presentation sucks. I have literally never in my life have anybody come behind me and swoop away one of my jobs because my customers, after my sales presentation, there weren't any questions remaining whether I was the right choice or not. So if you want to get to that level, I'm telling you, I have a sales presentation that prevents all those objections before they come up. Use it. Each of those jobs is worth 1500 bucks in your pocket. So don't squander that by having holes in your presentation. Check out the Advanced Sales and Supplement Training Program. That's uh, where you can find it. Um, my Roof Sales Accelerator also has the, the sales script in there. So, any hoot. Have a great day, you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.